um, usually these patients or the victims of uh, sexual assault, we like to call it sexual assault rather than saying rape, um, they, they are usually either brought with the police or through the police, either through the National Child Protection Authority or through the police, the Women's and Children's Bureau. So once they are brought, especially to our department, uh, the first process is that we would first engage with them and we would try to explain to them the procedure uh, as to what happens uh, in terms of a medical examination and a medical legal examination. Uh, we are fortunate in our department that we have a, a forensic nurse uh, and I think we are the first and the only department, forensic department that has a forensic nurse in Sri Lanka. So um, the first step is usually a discussion with uh, between the victim and the forensic nurse. And that makes things a bit easier because as you would know, um, going through a process of medical examination, legal examination, especially following a sexual ass assault or a sexual offense can be a, a challenging situation for a female. So um, by having this forensic nurse, uh, we have found that uh, a lot of victims, a lot of examinees feel a lot more comfortable um, and uh, they, are, they are a lot more willing to undergo the process uh, of examination. So the nurse generally sort of builds a rapport with the victim and then um, explains the procedure, explains the requirement for the procedure and generally what happens. And then we have this consent process. Now we value this consent process uh, a lot because especially the medical examination in a sexual assault case can be a very sensitive, um, a very private affair. So uh, it would require obviously examination of a female's uh, private organs uh, of her body, uh, sexual organs and also what we call parasexual organs. Uh, so this can be a very sort of sensitive issue. So uh, we always proceed with a medical examination following what we call as informed written consent. Informed meaning we would explain the procedure as well as uh, what is being done. And then we would generally take a written consent or a written signature in terms of that. Afterwards, we have a process where there is a, uh, an interview. And we also like to call this a sexual assault forensic examination. SAFE for short. This is again something that, um, that we have kind of developed over the years to sort of avoid the stigmatization and that, uh, that taboo uh, feeling uh, that a person is now a victim of a sexual crime.